Chapter 3 New Start Folder Edit Folder Datasheet In this chapter, we learn how to activate vault numbering as a folder naming convention. Add properties to the dynamic property grid, hide default vault comments from the user interface, and differentiate between dialog behaviors for create and edit mode. This workflow video shows how to create a folder named Imported Data of Category Folder and also create a project folder with sequential numbering and enforced data. As we create a new folder, I'm filling the name, title and description for the folder category. While creating a folder with project category, the numbering scheme is automatically selected and there are listed values for customer property. The start date property is enforced. We have to select a date to get the OK button enabled. Exercise 1. Add properties to the category property grid. Adding properties to the dynamic grid is straightforward. In this example, we assign the properties to each category in the Vault Behavior configuration. Step 1. Assign title and description to both folder categories, folder and project. Edit title and description properties and assign them to both folder categories. Step 2. Create customer, date start and date end properties and assign them to project folder category. Customer property has three list values, internal, autodesk and codeo. Both date start and date end categories are type date. Make sure that the date start property requires value to true. The dialog new folder now updates associatively to the category selection. Note the control types within the dynamic property grid automatically change to pull down list for customer and date picker for date start end properties. Exercise 2 Enable numbering for project folders. Following the exercise Enable numbering scheme per category in Chapter 1. We learned that matching names of category and numbering schemes invoke the auto-selection of a scheme in the new file dialog. This principle applies to folder categories also. Create a numbering scheme named Project. Let's use the new start folder command. As you can see, the numbering scheme is automatically selected after selecting the project category. Note that the pull down list number scheme allows to switch to any other file numbering scheme. Chapter 11 covers the required scripting skills to limit the selection according to the context. Exercise 3. Hide user command new library folder. Vault data standard allows hiding user commands. The default configuration hides the create folder command by default. In this exercise, we hide the new library folder command. As you can see, the new library folder command is available. Let's change that. Step 1. Open the Excel document named vaultcommands.com xlsx and search for library folder. You can look up all vault client user commands in this table. Step 2. Now we need to copy and paste the menu definitions xml from vault folder to vault.custom folder. Step 3. We will now edit the file. Find Suppress Menu Items tag. 
copy paste two items, new library folder and new library folder for context menus. Save the file. Restart your vault. The new library folder command is now suppressed. You can find more information on Configuration Insights about the comparison of Create and Edit commands in the handout document. In the next chapter, we take a look at the use of VDS in AutoCAD Mechanical and Vanilla.